Hello guys, Mr. Danamon2050 here, welcome to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to enable your GPU to work in any Adobe product, such as Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Now first of all, I'm just going to say that by default, GPUs are not, uh, you know, modern GPUs like the 700 series of uh, NVIDIA GeForce cards, and also the new series which includes the 280, the 270 and everything like that in the AMD series, they're not actually by default enabled in Adobe Premiere or Photoshop or anything like that. And yeah, you're expected to buy the new CC um, version by Adobe. The CC stands for Creative Card. You're expected to pay that. And that's actually a monthly charge. So yeah, forget that. Keep your CS6 and just use this little hack I'm going to show you today. Now, first of all, just go to the Adobe Premiere or After Effects, whatever you're wanting to use today. Um, just, just open some random project. This is my master template. Let's go to project settings, click on general. As you can see here, look at that, you have your video rendering and playback. You can set the renderer to rather the software only, which uses your CPU only, or the Mercury playback engine, which uses GPU acceleration. In my case, it's CUDA, because I have a GTX 770. So as you can see, my card has been used, but it wasn't like that before, and renders were like twice as slow. <laughs> so let me show you today how to kind of hack some of the files in the um, Adobe folder and yeah, you'll have a nice, fast, nice fluid kind of experience if that's editing, video, um, photo, whatever you're going to do. Now first of all, you want to launch the command prompt. So as you can see, uh, just type in CMD into the start menu. Uh, click on the uh, right click button and click on run as admin and click yes. Now you'll be prompted with the command prompt. This is version 6.1.7. So you've probably seen this before. You probably use this, I don't know, to, uh, to copy some files, to, to I don't know, log in as admin. Whatever you've done before, I'm going to show you how to use this. You really don't know how to use this at all. Don't matter. So I'm going to show you today. Now, the first thing you want to know is to know the full name of your graphics card. And you, yeah, you want to know what Adobe knows it as. So what you want to do, first of all, is type in CD dot dot. And that'll take us out of the system effect to do folder and then type in again which will take us out of the windows folder and just onto the root c drive now next thing you want to type in just type in dir stands for directory it tells you all of the files on the c drive now you want to go to cd uh, program files click enter i spelt program files wrong it's embarrassing program there we are sloppy spelling now now you're in the program files folder now you want to be going to CD Adobe, it takes you to the Adobe folder, and now just type in the good old directory again, as you can see, you got your folders such as Adobe After Effects, Adobe Media Encoder, and the one you want to be looking for is Adobe Premiere Pro, so just type in CD Adobe Premiere um, Pro, then CS6, or 5, or 5.5, whatever you have, click enter, and now you're in the Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 folder. Now you want to type in um, DIR again, and there should be something on here called GPU Sniffer. That's what it's called. Now, if I just scroll through here, and we'll find it, it is here. Look, GPU Sniffer.exe. So just type that in GPU uh, Sniffer.exe. Click enter, and then it will kind of run, run that little uh, executable file there. And as you can see, the result from here says that the render is a GeForce GTX 770 PCIe SSE2. Now, things you want to um, look at here is that check that your resolution is correct. So, 1920 times 1080. That's correct. I have a 1080 monitor. Um, and you want to see down here um, what the capability is. If the capability is above 2, you're going to get a significant increase in, in render times and also um, editing performance. Um, and you also want to check that your memory is correct as well. So in my case, 2 gig card. Now, bearing in mind this name here, GeForce GTX 770. The G is a capital, the F is a capital. There's a space, GTX is in capitals, space, and then 770. That's it. That's what you want to keep in mind. Now, go to your start button, click on computer, go to your C drive, go to program files, Adobe, then go to uh, Adobe Where's on here? Adobe Premiere Pro, there it is. And then you want to go down, um, and, and it's called, uh, it's, it's actually called, if I just type in supported, supported. Now, there's a text file called supported, 
well, CUDA supported cards, yeah? And you also get OpenCL supported cards. Now, if you open these, as you can see, for OpenCL cards, isn't it? It's an absolute joke, I tell you. Adobe haven't done a good job here, and... Oh, we'll just leave it out before I start swearing. Basically, if you've got an NVIDIA card, you want to go to CUDA. If you've got an AMD card, you want to go to OpenCL. You guys should know what brand your card is. Um, in my case, you look, as you can see, it says NVIDIA. Right, so... In my case, you want to open the CUDA kind of list here, and by default, there'll be a very, very small amount of cards in here. There'll be about five to about ten cards. And basically, you just want to, as simple as, you just want to go to the bottom, you want to click enter, and then you just want to type in exactly how your card is spelled. So, GTX 770. You just want to type in exactly how it is on, on the command prompt to the left, as you can see, as it's spelled here, where it says name, and then once you've done that, just click save, and that's it. As you can see, I already have mine saved on here. Mine's here, look, the GTX 770. As you can see, I've just typed in every single card that exists, and I just copy and pasted this from Wikipedia generally. But as you can see, these are just all the cards that NVIDIA have made. As you can see, there's a lot, including their Quadro cards, and even the GT cards, like the like the 130M. Very, very old indeed. As you can see, just type in your card, and, uh, yeah it will work in Adobe Premiere. Once you've saved this, you want to restart your PC and uh, you should be all be good to go. Now, the reason I've copied all these in is because in the future, say if I do get a 780 Ti or even a Titan Black, it'll work automatically. Now, yeah, once you've finished, you just, want, you just want to click save and then you want to save it where it is. If it comes up with some error saying, oh, it already exists, click yes. And then if you get access is denied, save it to the desktop Delete the original file in the Adobe folder, then drag this one on. Yeah, it's just because it's got right protection. And uh, yeah, don't worry, it'll save because mine did. Just don't want to save that. Now, yeah, so to desktop, just drag it in here. And when it says you want to replace, click here. And you will not get accesses denied because you're replacing, not kind of overwriting. Same thing in my head, but you know, that's how computers work. Anyway, then the next time you're in Adobe Premiere Pro, you will be able to use your GPU. You will need to reset your PC. So don't try it if you haven't done that, that'd be very silly. As you can see, you'll have your GPU acceleration enabled, just like I have, because mine didn't once work, and now it does, and my renders are faster. Oh, voila. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, please tell your friends, and anyone else that really uses Adobe products, such as Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, anything else that will kind of benefit um, from GPU acceleration. Because it is good, especially if you have a high-end card and a CPU that's, uh, that can kind of keep up with it. Anyway guys, yeah, thank you for watching, please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video, goodbye.